Performing electrical safety on de medical devices is easy using the ESA620 electrical safety analyzer from Fluke Biomedical and Fluke Biomedical's test automation software. Performing the electrical safety test is easy. All we need to do is click start. The test procedure will communicate with the test instrument and configure it for each test that needs to be done. It will also pause and let us zero our test lead so that we get rid of any resistance uh, in the lead wire itself. So we're reporting only the resistance of the ground wire of the medical device. It reports the resistance versus the limit in the standard and lets us make a decision to continue or not. In this case, we had a fault which is fine, we'll go ahead and accept that for now. The test procedure will first run through power on tests in the normal condition and then power off tests in the normal condition and then it will run single fault tests where we open first the neutral wire in the, in the power cord and then the ground wire. We'll report all values and against their test limits in accordance with the standard that's being used to perform the test. Electrical safety testing is very important, especially for patients in the hospital in critical areas like intensive care or trauma emergency room or in the operating room because the patient has indwelling catheters and uh, conductive wires that uh, may compromise them if there's uh, too much uh, leakage current. In this case, the test has, uh, the medical device that we're testing has failed because the uh, ground resistance was too high. We'll proceed now to the test summary screen where it will report all of the tests that we, have, that we have done, all of the test results against their testing limits so that we can determine what we need to do next. At this point, we could use the previous button to go back and repeat the electrical safety test in total if we thought we could do something to correct the high resistance to ground. Otherwise, this medical device will have a failed test procedure and will be uh, in the repair queue for corrective action. This is uh, the test result file that's created as you click Next from the test summary screen. You can see that it looks very much like the test summary screen shows us all the tests that were performed, the test measurements that were made against the testing limits. It shows us which tests failed and uh, which tests passed. What we're going to do from here is we're going to select a test report layout to create a professional looking test report that can be uh, emailed in a, as a PDF file or that can be printed out in a hard copy and left behind in the client department or client facility. To select uh, the test report layout, we'll simply go up to the toolbar to our test report settings. And in this test report settings window, we have the ability to select from three predetermined test report type layouts. The summary layout, which we will show you, is the same as page one of either of the other two layouts. The condensed test report which simply shows the test results and uh, for each step in the test procedure and you will see all of that information but what we really want to show you is the detailed layout so that you can see the not only the test results and each measured value but the testing limits as well so if we pick the detailed test type which you see has been selected in the screen then we can go to the what to print section which lets us select the things that we want included in this test report. Now we could include the test procedure which is exactly the explanation of what it was that we were supposed to do in this test um, as well as the test configuration, the testing limits and the test results uh, graphics are not applicable in electrical safety testing, but they are in other kinds of testing that we do with this software. 
and we certainly don't wish at this time anyway to print failed tests only. We will not select the test procedure uh, but only the configuration, the testing limits, and the test results. We've created a PDF version of the test report layout for the detailed type of test report. And you can see that we've been able to customize our report header to include our logo. The overall test status is reported in the first gray bar, and we see that it's test failed. And the reason that it failed was because we had a problem with the grounding resistance of the medical device that was being tested. Also, you'll see the date that the test was performed. You'll see the test result file name and the name of the test template that was used, plus all of the components of the software that were in use at the time. As we scroll down, you can see the test setup, which includes which standard the test limits and the test methodologies came from, the device under test information, and the test instrument that was used. You can see that there's a place here for signatures. If we were to print this report layout in a hard copy, we could sign it and we could have our client department or client facility sign it, indicating that they saw that the testing had been done. We'll now scroll down to the next page in the test record. And in this case, you can see each of the tests that were done, voltage tests, followed by our protective earth test. And you can see that in the far right-hand column, there's an X indicating that the protective earth test or ground resistance test is what was failed in this particular test uh, result file. All of the test measured values show their testing limits and the test that was done uh, to document the measured value. Scrolling to the last page, we can see the balance of the tests. As you can see, performing tests with ESA 620 from Fluke Biomedical and automation software from Fluke Biomedical is very easy. It's easy to connect the device under test, it's easy to click start in the predetermined test procedure that we provide you. Easy as one, two, three.